TRRC. Imam, you have the floor if you can offer some prayers, please. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Ihinna Sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Jina al-Namta alayhim. Khayr al-Mahdubi alayhim wa al-Dhalim. Falillahi alhamdu Rabbu al-Samawati wa Rabbu al-Lari Rabbu al-Alameen. Wa lahu al-Kibriya fi al-Samawati wa al-Lari wa huwa aziz al-Hakim. Rabbana innana amanna. فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وعينا عذاب النار الصابرين والصادقين والقانتين والمنفقين والمستغفرون بالإسخار شهد الله أنه لا إله وملائكة وأولو العلم دائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم ربنا عطينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. Ameen. Shukran, Imam Jalo. Bishop, you have the floor, please. If you can offer some prayers. Thank you, Chairman. Lord God of might, of power, of grace, of goodness, of love, we commit ourselves under your throne of grace undeservedly for your protection, your providence, your security, your defense, your healing power all over humankind throughout the whole universe. As we continue our tiara sitting this morning, we continue to commit all the witnesses that will appear before the commission this day. And we continue to ask, but by the Holy Spirit, you shall grant them the boldness to speak the truth, nothing but the truth, and also grant the commission the designing spirit to design between truth and falsehood, and grant the general populace and the diaspora the patience to go through the due process, and you, with your own everlasting wisdom, will decide how you will deal with each and every one. In Jesus' name, I do pray, praise, and thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Bishop Bodeko. Uh, if we're ready with this morning's witness council, we may proceed, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. Ms. Asha, can you kindly bring in the witness? Aye, kadi samate. Ute kadi. Ute kadi samate. Aye, kadi samate. Ute kadi samate.
Aye, kadi samate. Nita kadi samate. Nita kadi samate. Do swear that. Nde mkali lako. Nde mkali lako. I'll speak the truth. Nde tonya le fala. Nde tonya le fala. The whole truth. Tonya dama. Tonya dama. I'm nothing but the truth. Nita fem fala mum manke tonya ti. Nita fem fala mum manke tonya ti. So help me God. Oto alama alayende ma. Oto alama alayende ma. Good morning, Madam Witness. Council Co. Issa Macedo. And welcome to the TRC. A baby singer in the TRC Jang. Thank you for agreeing to come to the TRC and sharing your story. Co. Ilumba Rapuari is on the Kana TRC Jang ke lakumo sata. We met briefly this morning. Ako alibenta lenye je wisutu watu sutu kono ni usomanda. And as you already know, my name is Maria Masinate. Ako alonyo atumu Maria Masinate neti. I will be leading you on behalf of the commission this morning. Atelebe tamile nyato ke nyinika kumisu utoya la ni usomanda. For this morning. Puru bi usomanda du. We are going to discuss your background information. So that the commission will get to know who you are. We'll deal with the incidents leading to your arrest on the 9th of May. The beatings meted out on you during your arrest. Your detention with your infant child at the PIU headquarters. In a time muta, ke samba PIU la korda bato imi idinde namo. The ordeals you encountered during your detention. Yer kule ya kule mene funa lutaki ila muto wisi onyikolo. Your bail and subsequent arrest and detention at the police headquarters. Ye in a time bail ni meng hani fokote ke in a time muri na kani muta ke samba police korda ba yindo. And the impact of your detention on you and your child as well. And in financial, bri yo muto menke la ke sim di bla kling. Wo man toro lu be yo mune sababu ite ma imila o dinde na mo membe mo rumo. As you are already aware, ko ibota kala manye mo. A simultaneous interpretation going on. Where kung kung asoro falam beke kam. And I do know that you understand a little bit of English. So I advise that you listen to the interpreter before you answer my questions. In any event that you do not understand the question put to you, you you let me know and I'll try to explain the question to you. So can we start now? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, can you please tell the commission your name? My name is Kadi Samate. Can you please tell the commission your name? Uluta sate juma leto amin luma. Da uluta bakote. I was born in bakote. Bari me ululu ulonde. Ani mo ulonde. Bari na ID card bida. I don't know my date of birth, but I have my ID card with me. Can I kindly have your ID card so that I'll be able to state on the record your date of birth? Sila moto ma ko yela ID card din na pro kaito nyanta safaro kila dami nisi kibaro ni safaje membela ID card bala. As indicated on your ID card. You were born on the 22nd of January 1991. Can you tell us uh, your occupation? I'm married. I'm married. You're a housewife, correct? 
Amanda tebu mu sukuno musoleti be futola. Yes. Who are you married? Be futola njimale. Mod fati. Mod fati. Do you have any children with Mod fati? For any Mod fati, aliye diyo lo sotole bang. Adin saba. Yes, three kids. Can you tell us the names of your children? Baby Aisha Fati. Baby Aisha Fati. Fatima Fati. Fatima Fati. Suleiman Fati. Suleiman Fati. Can you recall the incident of the 9th of May 2016? For Hakile Osamu, the 2016, Yes. Do tell the commission what you can recall. Say of a commission, it is Hakimus in Mutamu Yes. Uh huh, Silan Asata. May 9. Yeah, Janine May 9, Kashi. Before the 9th of May. Okay, baby Isa and Yamboka does Sibito Lumale. We Christian baby Isa on Saturday. Onion Sibito. The following Saturday. That was when our party leader was arrested and my husband was party. And can you recall the day that uh, your husband and the party leader were arrested? It was on a Saturday on the 16th of April. What year was that? Sanji Malam Nun. Nemo Sangolam. I don't know the year. We already have testimonies uh, stating that the incident occurred, and on your statement as well, it's indicated that it occurred in 2016. Is that correct? April 2016, Ah. Yes. Who is this party leader you're referring to? No, I mean party Nyatun Kote, come and footing. Lawyer Usain Dab. Lawyer Usain Dabo. What happened after your husband and the party leader were arrested? Mulinatake, bring ye came on muta and in party Nyatun Kwe, Ila Mutokola Mulekata. Be your muta. After they were arrested. We used to go to the court, but we, courthouse, but we never got inside. Each time, we, each time we went, we never got inside. They used to tell us that the place is filled up. There was this day, which was on the 9th of May. Nandimo, baby Aisha, Nasamba, Laminda Mundiba Mumbanta, former Miss Minister Ake Koja, Adin Sungutu, Madame Mandiba, Na baby Aisha Samba Walea, Natu Abundel Tata Kitidula. I took my daughter, baby Aisha, to the daughter of uh, the former Agricultural Minister Lamin uh, Damudiba and uh, left her with her. Del Tata Kitidula. We went to the uh, courthouse. After the court session ended around 2 p.m. After, after that session ended, my husband and Mr. Dabo were returned back to prison. The paramilitary officers that took them to mile two returned back to Banjul. We did not have a vehicle to return back to Serakunda. That day, no vehicle entered Banjul or left Banjul. So, some of our people suggested that we walked on foot, and others said, no, it's a long distance. Another four. 
We came until we passed the Manjago Cemetery and then we found soldiers standing. Yes. You mentioned, my apologies for cutting you there. You mentioned that on that day, mm. no vehicle could enter Banjul and no vehicle could go out of Banjul. Why was that? The paras were the ones who were not cooperating on the highway that day. Sorry, is that the parallel of Balanding Siloka? That, that the means the paras were in system. I mean, we mean the paras closed the road that day. Thank you. The paras, the, when you say paras, can you please clarify uh, who these paras were? Nuko paralu, paralu, mule mu, wal mu muleti. Paral mu be piayu. The paras are the piayu. They were guarding the entrance to Banjul and no vehicle could get in and none could get out. Muntai telebe kantaro la silaba kan ni banyun silo kan wole akende motobuka lu motobuka fimji. Ah. Yes. Who were the people that you were with on that day? Ito ni mojuma nyo lebe silo kan wolu. Mojuma lende UDP mwoli mwoli nata ot kiti yo bayin nije wole labiji. Mojuma labiji. There were many people, UDP militants who came to attend the court that day. So what happened while you were walking back home? So you not okay. Who you call about Tamakan Albesekan? So so that we will need to allow him to get through all the same and through Bani. The soldiers. He he he. I'm forced. He I'm blind. I'm on. The soldiers we found standing there brought a truck and they forced us to board the truck. Where was the truck stationed? We need to buy a lot of things. Beri tapi tapi Christian Ola bade kola niato dalam dia alon dua tergeli kampu dua lebih je. Just at few distances from the Christian cemetery, that was where they parked the truck. You said you were forced to go on board this truck. Ya fuko ya le force itu bulan ini truck muda bako lole. Ah. Yes. Can you please explain how you were forced to enter the truck? Afanye ya le bulan ya kuronya di le wairi kwa ya le force to bulan di le ya munta ya le kenya di le hano fo al bulan to motoko. Yen force le kwa madumu moto ni mkono mbe yen mbe dunda kono. They forced us. They told us to board the truck, and all of us were taken into the truck. These soldiers that forced you to enter the truck. They forced you to bulan di le force to bulan di motoko. Were they armed? Fo jora wulu be bulu le bang. Joran table itu. They had no weapons. Oh, beri kan dulu motor aku na fente bulu aku na waktu mu. When they were boarding us on the truck, they had nothing with them. Did they do anything to you during the process of forcing you to enter the truck? For emang punya kule kan la beri balik force tu bulan ni kan motor ni engkau bang. I can push le, yang nyor le yang force ye yang dulu truck aku ni engkau. Yes, we were forcibly pushed and. Made to, board, made to board the truck. What happened after you were forced into this truck? Silambiri alibula ni motoko na ube kwa la mune natake. Yen samana nefo ice man dalan binafuta la PIU mafangu le injindiji. They brought us until we close to the ice man by the PIU and we disembarked. Go on. Ten, ten, biri alijindi, ha? Sain biri ya injindiji. When the brought us down there. It all amount of muruntale. Their truck returned. Biri it all amount of muruntha. After their truck returned. So in the mall ko alingata. So our people. Mall ko jam jam fatalenti ta ano nga muru banjul. Some of our people suggested that we continued. Others said no. It's a long distance. Let's return back to banjul. You sir. My apologies. Um, you told us that it was when the court proceedings for your husband and Mr. Dabo and others ended that you decided to walk home. Mr. Dabo and Kito abandoned the album of the album. Yes. Then um, the soldiers forced you to enter their truck and they dropped you off at Iceman. So you are only all for such a problem in Morocco, no? In order for Iceman, you are the judge. Ah, how can I tell you? Yes, that was what happened. Why then was there a discussion for you to return back to Banjo? 
Mula na silang atil na tayo yung fopral yung muruban yung. Mamu to sa to, malam buta adam yung paral balo yung siloka. We did not have a vehicle. We did not also know where to go because the paramilitary officers were on the highway. These paramilitary officers that were on the highway, were they armed? Yung paramilitary yung men balo yung siloka, jora wal lebe bulubang. Yes, they had weapons, they had battles, and they had tear gas as well. And um, what came into your mind when you saw the paramilitary armed and standing on the highway? Sila atili mune mira, bringa li yung paramilitary uliji silokang, wa jora wulu bwe bulu batinu li yung tear gas. Bidi itoli aje yen toli jindi. Say, After they saw us uh, being dropped there, they separated somewhere in front of us, others were behind us. Uh, my question actually was, what went through your mind? What were you thinking of when you saw the parliamentary station? They were surrounding you, some in front of you and some at the back. Kwa mengi ni kwa ulimi ndi, bringa lengi ni para lije siloka, inatali bula tema, dolo bonya tu dolo bekoma, aliyomu ni mira nuto mo, mule bula tali sondo mo kono. Dolo kama mira ni baka na lanya menga, tu sasa abeda menta muru no la koma, ndi na no lanya tu. We are thinking of out to escape because at that juncture we could not go forward, neither could we go backwards. What happened while you were in that situation? Silang alibu tembeda tu mule na ataki kutoke. Yeti aga swala fai. They fired tear gas. Before they fired the tear gas, the crowd that you were with. What were the tear gas doing? I tell you, we kafu men kono je wanya. What was their demeanor before the tear gas was being fired? Bunda ibe kinya kalanya juma lema ibe je njema ibe kuleke kamfu ibe kumale fu kamfu mune mune be carry mungi jani ni le tear gas fai. Di mana telah mul? Ah, telu, telu mul. Telu mul, telu ma, telu valori ni. Dol kong mata, dol kong titano. Saya yang baca lagi ada, entah mulu nola banyu, titano, yes fit. Some suggested we move forward, others said we could not go forward and we could not go backwards, so we were in that dilemma. And where was the tear gas um, fired at? Say your tear gas being fired. About an amount of money. About an amount of money. About an amount of money. No, that was not my question. Where was it fired? Ya five minutes old. Tear gas ni ya five minutes old. Ya five minutes old. Kita dah belajar dah betul ya five old. It was fired towards us where we we are standing. What happened after they fired the tear gas into the crowd? Mana kita beri tear gas ni final alikono. Beri tear gas tear gas on fire. Entol kijo on fire lembur tanjang janta. When they fired the tear gas, we were terrified and we scattered. What happened afterwards? After we ran away, they chased after us. After they chased after us, some of our people scattered and we were still running. I was in that running. A paramilitary officer came behind and uh, hit me behind. When I fell down, I Even where I fell, he did not let me be. He continued pursuing me and I was somersaulting until I fell into a ditch. Bring jalan tak kotor dim kau kan? Atau mungkin beli pakan? Doa fana ini jalan tan mau maji ikat am mau fula. When I fell into that gutter, some other officer joined him and he jumped into the dish and they became two now. So I'm very beli pakan ini. Ini mah barin mah barin din do bide kafa baby police. As they were beating me there, my husband's nephew called the baby police was there. Bila ini ani bor barin ata beti tangka. When he saw me, he ran, rushed towards me and uh, lay on me and covered me. Before the police uh, came into your rescue, 
Your name baby police being a came up with. Can you please clarify how many paramilitary officers were beating you? Four years in the paramilitary officers being a mojelu. Let me tell you, Pakawa. More full of Two people. What were they using to beat you? They were living in the room for some time. Batting. They had battles. Can you tell us um, where on the parts of your body they were beaten? It will be the lip of the balloon in the room in the room. It will be the lip of the balloon in the room. It will be the lip of the balloon in the room. It will be the lip of the balloon. Well, for them, they were just beating me, and they were beating me on any part of my body. They were just beating me anyhow. And what exactly did the police do? The police were at another time. 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 The police saw me. He recognized me by the scarf I wore. And he ran and uh, lay on me and covered me and then uh, picked me up. When the police came in and intervened, did they stop beating you? When the police came in and intervened, did they stop beating you? When the police came in and intervened, did they stop beating you? He picked me up and told me, roll away. So he didn't have to roll away. 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 So in that situation, I was not even conscious of where I was going to. I was almost dizzy. Saya beri ya lo, beri bentar lipat kau tu mo. Minta ulu tahan ini na forty days of fungmansi. The time that I was beaten, I just gave birth and it was not even up to forty days. Saya mo borol lambi tak kau yara nte kata ada mento. Ibe lori niat orang kau tak kau lamba tungka. So where I was running towards, behold, others were standing there and they were just waiting for me. Minta lipat tak kau wenyama. Minta benda minyak akan minta buka dulu lagi. Minta kom minta bila akan ada orang baru malam fang kata ada men. At that time. Mara akan mana buat angkom. I was just going, but I did not know where I was going because I was dizzy. So a paramilitary officer came behind me. Bila buat angkom, ayam no dem kom utaja. He held me from the back. Ngat ayat teri la moto belori la tu la moto do belori ingat tro kolam bas oba akan sento. Ayam muta teng angkom teng. At that time, there was a, a truck, a paramilitary truck parked in front, which had a tarpaulin. He held me from the back and then uh, took, me in, um, uh, put, uh, took me into the truck, which was uh, occupied by other paramilitary officers. Um, can you please clarify that for us? When the paramilitary officer lift, uh, held you, how did he hold you? Il ne fait rien d'une classe ni un de l'homme ni. Il connaît une parame et botte comme à elle a donné comme ça. Il cache et chicale. Aïe, aïe, faim mot, aïe, chicane ni abîme les que boule moto colo. Aïe, chicane comme mal. Aïe, aïe, aboule de un comme mal et un. Aïe, chicane ni un faim. Il put his hand under me from the back and raised me up and threw me onto the truck. What were you wearing during this incident? Il est mort une fois, une fois de façon le bleu au tempo de quel moment? Si pas le ben n'a rien de nouveau. I had a skirt. An address. And um, where was he holding on to when he li lifted you and threw you in the truck? Ate balaja ate balu mintu ma fanne muta abe chikala tumu mena kebula ne umurokon. I ablo dindu alakot. He put his hand right under uh, behind me and. I'm under I ablo ke sim floor le tema for he he put his hand right between my legs. And lifted me up and threw me into the truck. And during that uh, situation, was your body in any way exposed at that time that he was lifting you by putting his hand under you and throwing you in the truck? Kabulu dumi kuto wanya ke chikandi ke fai moto kono. For abe kila tumena amunta aye balu dula du bula ne bange balu dam dula finti tabanta. Abulu dumi kuto. He put his hand under me. Ha, but between four balloons, the last one that I did, I mean, finished the band photo. At that time, I had a skirt on. So while putting his hand under you and lifting you up, he exposed your legs, correct? Bila be chikala wanya aya balloons dumi kutoke chikanda amunda isimulu ayolo be finishing the bandale. Ah, wuto finishing the bandale. Yes, my tight, my tights were exposed. 
at that point Otembo. where was baby police baby police atele we were in tech i'm fine to man now we got for green food at pi after he took me took me and uh, threw me into the truck i never saw him again until i got to the piu before this uh tear gas was thrown into the crowd was the crowd in any way acting violent towards the PIU officers? For a lack of all, I'll be sending a call to some of the PIU police who come back for. Tell me, when kill? We did nothing to them. When kill? We did nothing to them. Just having fun, kill. Not even anything. You told us that uh, when after they beat you up, when you fuck up, bring you lip of fuck up, pare. You were not aware of your surroundings. And you were feeling a bit dizzy. Ah. Yes. Uh, at that point, did you get to look at um, other people around you for from the, your group? For Timbo, you mirror us to the Purkinia Murumurunka, Modolu Jube, Inim Melube, Silo Kanu Yola. At that time, people had scattered. You wouldn't see anyone. When they lifted you and put you on the truck, can you tell us what happened? When I was when I was lifted and thrown onto the truck, I found some paramilitary officers on board the truck, and they were kicking me, and one will kick me and throw me to the other, and I was some assaulting and turning around, and uh, I was being kicked around. On which parts of their body were they kicking? My entire body, all of it was injured. You've told us that uh, at this time you were barely for 40 days. It was 40 days, barely 40 days after you gave birth to your daughter. Yes. How did all of these feel, given that you were just from the delivery room and this happened? My body pained, I sustained injuries from there. Were you the only one on board the truck by the time they were kicking and beating you? Yes, at the time, when I was thrown onto the truck, I was the only one. These parliamentary officers that were kicking and beating you, did you get to recognize any one of them? I could not recognize anyone amongst them. They had masks except their eyes, eyes that were uh, exposed. Did they say anything to you during this process? Yes, they did that to me there. They told me very horrific things and they also cursed my mother there. Apart from the insults, can you tell us some of the things that they were uh, telling you? They said that we were bad people, they wanted to oust the Ajame, but what they were going to do to us that day, we too will get to see it. For, can you estimate, uh, that is if you can, for how long you were in that truck being beaten by this paramilitary officers? I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I was in the middle of the day, and I
ute ubucheo menke wa moto kolo ibe lipa kanke damfu ya watu wa menstar ndo to ta watu wa fono la kaatu watu nta beda mento nta nta mantala mfambulu fwa nta man fwa nka la muda i cannot estimate the time because at that moment i was not myself i was not i wasn't able to estimate were you able to tell how many people were beaten and kicking you fo sinyu fulan fono le etelu paral mo jelle be li pakannu anin ke danfu mo lang nanga mo londe katu mo jamaal be moto kon i don't know the number but there were many people on the truck after beating and kicking you what else did they do to you during la danfro ni li paro fulan ko la ina ta mune ke kota ke la kota ke yen sama piyu they took me to the piyu Where at the PIU did they take you? Where are you coming to? In the office of them. Where are the offices? Tell us what happened when you were taken to the PIU office. Saya fonyo muna keta briye samba fonyo futa ndi PIU la office. Briye samba. Ndala sama to na kalpe. Ani na fangal mu bambulu wal betu ta kota din poko na ndesi nken sangal dun ta PIU fo kala mu bambala ni don kone se. I got into the PIU office barefooted. My scarf, my uh, paws, all of them were left inside the gutter. When we when they took me there, they took me to a big hall. Go on, please. When they took me to that big hall. Inte nga ami bayo tarage ani ais famata sar I found ami bayo and fatmata sar Bi ente samba yam fana sindige inta be siri lili bojan samba nani sukai dahaba When I was there they took they took me to sit down lili bojan and sukai dahaba we are also brought in Ani ais at sedi and ais at sedi Biri awalke. After they did that. Yende londi la killing kar killing killing. Iye babaro na ati na julo ba ba le yakin kaunte yen natal mo mo killing killing. They made. They made us to stand one after the other. Those of us who were there, we were women there, and they brought a, a wooden plaque and they put that over us and we were photographed. Basi dindo ya sukai dahaba samana. And as we are sitting down, sukai dahaba was brought in. Bire bibi sukai dahaba samba na mbesiringi. Wende bibi wende brought bibi sukai dahaba wende brought bibi sukai dahaba and we were seated there. Ye para ena e sungu dona da ye kafa ko ani asta fula bindu manga. As we were there, one ena e officer, a female officer called bindu manga came. Birana da ka telam police wala buati. When she came, she said she is the wish of the police. And a statement with her. She took our statements. You mentioned that um you were in the hall with Amibayo. Ni nifukwe be wo salba kono jeni Amibayo. Fatisar. Fatisar. Lili Bojang. Lili Bojang. Sukai Dahaba. Sukai Dahaba. I said Sidi. I said Sevi. I said to Sevi. Uh, this Sukai Daba, Dahaba, you, you were mentioning baby Sukai Dahaba. Is she baby Sukai Dahaba or just Sukai Dahaba? Yeah, baby, two for jail, baby Sukai Dahaba. I told Sukai Dahaba, kill him long, bang, for Sukai Dahaba, full and jail. I told Sukai Dahaba, kill him, Dahaba, kill him. Don't call for Sukai Sukai Dahaba, don't call for baby Sukai Dahaba. Don't mock him. She's the same Sukai Dahaba. Some call her baby Sukai Dahaba, but she's the same person. Were you. The only six people in that hall you are talking about. Wo salba kono atili mo woro da man ne bije lumba. Na ye kyol fana nati na nge. They brought men to. Can you recall some of the men that were brought in? Fo hakilo si bula kelu dul fana na le men dul di na nge alifeje. Kyol nga dol tola na bari man dol tola. I know the names of some of the men but not others. You can go ahead and tell us some of the names you could recall. Shai ete hakilo subula tulu menu la wulufu nyembang. Modusar bigele. Modusar was there. Solo kuma bigele. Solo kuma was there. 
Je suis un homme. Je suis un homme. Je suis un homme. Je suis un Je suis un homme. Je suis un homme. Je suis un homme. Je as for the women, they were six, but I do not know the number of the men. My apologies. Uh, you told us that Bintu Bintu Manga. Bintu Manga too, Nata. An NIA officer, you said. We call him NIA do kulalit. Came and told you that she is the witch of the police. Anata katalon police on labuati. Ha. Yes. What did she do? I am I am I am She came, questioned me, and took down my statement, and then asked me, "What is this worth for you?" And then she okay. said to me, "Akonyoko, atul muna naliye ba ya jamele, nal sonda ko alwe ya jamele." You people, why do you not like Yaya Jame? If you would like accept Yaya Jame, we would release you. Then she asked me, Why don't you accept Yaya Jame? At that time, she asked me what brought you into, into, into this. At that time, I was suckling and uh, milk was coming from my breast. So I told her that I have a, a baby who is suckling and uh, she's crying. Sana, I have a baby who is suckling and she's crying. Then she asked me, is this worth, worth uh, for you to do so that you leave your baby suckling at home? I told her that my husband was arrested and is in prison, and since then I have not seen him. And that was the reason why I went. She asked me if uh, a man is worth for me to leave my suckling baby uh, behind and uh, come out to the extent of being arrested. One other colleague of her uh, said to me, is marriage worth you coming out to, 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 to get arrested? And so another colleague of ours said to her, you are shameless. If marriage is not worthy for you to that extent, it is worthy for others. After that happened, we spent the day there until evening time. You told us that uh, Bintimanga collected your statement. Ah. During the process of collecting your statement, mm. were you charged with any offense? They said yes, we committed an offense because we, we did not accept Yaya Jame or like Yaya Jame. But if we would accept Yaya Jame, they would release us. Apart from telling you that you did not accept Yaya Jame, you did not like Yaya Jame, but because of that you committed an offense, did they tell you exactly which portion of the law you breached? Yes, that's what they said. They said that we broke the law. During the process of obtaining your statement, was there any independent witness in the room? 
while they were collecting your statement, were there other paramilitary officers in the room? For param officer do be block on the jail. Hi, the jail. Yes, they were there. Were those officers armed? All men who are in the jail, full zero will be able to be able to be able to be able to They were standing with their batons. After collecting your statement. Did you endorse that statement? I did not agree. Did they make you sign the statement? For sign It asked me to sign, I did it, and I refused. Why did you refuse to sign that statement? What uh, was alleged against me, I did not do. They asked me to sign, and I refused. When you refused this, to sign the statement, how did they react to this? They took us under placed us at one place. Can you um, tell us the people that you were with, especially the women, if they had sustained any form of injuries? There were some who sustained injuries. I was injured. Lily was slapped until she sustained injury on her cheek. I think even one of her ears is, has, is having hearing difficulty. So, 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 so her Dahaba too was beaten. You know, she once had an operation, and when she was being beaten by this button, uh, the button touched her at that place, and she fell twice at the PIU. How about your own injuries? Can you describe them for us? When I was beating my feet up to my thighs, all sustained injuries, even my hands, even my, uh, my this soldier is having a problem up to now. And she also mentioned that she had blood clots. Blood clots, yes. There was a woman there called Bumsaw. Every morning she will bring shea butter and use it to massage her body. How about Aisha Tisedi and Kadi Samata? Did they sustain any injuries? Aisha Tisedi and Kadi Samata full baramatalaba. Aisha Tisedi and he was at a mama at a mama baramosot. Aisha Tisedi did not sustain injuries. What of Kadi Samata? I think she herself is Okay. You, sorry, my apologies. I had written your name and I didn't put that to mind. While you were there at the PIU, did they provide you with any form of medical assistance given that almost all of you sustained injuries? We had no treatment there except bum who usually brought shea butter in the morning and massage our body. And uh, who is this bum? You know bum I found para the barata was steering PIUG like a mom so that she is a paramilitary officer resident within the PAU complex there, and her husband is a soldier.
Do you know her full name? Yeah, two for one and I can't do it. I can't do it, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, so name is, uh, so name is so, but uh, there they call her Bob, and I do not know any other name of us. Did anyone assign her to be massaging you and helping you relieve your pain? For mole ati falam bula wo do ko la purkani ati balo massage eke ma ko e pro dimeng si tali bala. Ite la katarang kunta je kang kanta a intel a injele dimole bambala kam ma ko. They were there guarding us. But she saw us as uh, experiencing pain and she rendered assistance. So she did because she felt sympathy for you due to the condition you were in. Munda e tijele drum ibe batari nyami ngu dali lole asabu abalafate ye anataka nyum mako hiru dila. Ah, yes. Can you tell us um, the first day where you slept while you were at the PIU? Afonye lumfolo nying albe PIU jetu momenda aliela mintole. They took us to a accessible room and uh, and the sitting room that was where we used to lie down. And were you there with the men that were arrested with you? I when we were taken into that room, the men we were taken away, I do not know where they took them to. Can you tell us what happened uh, the first night at the PIU headquarters? That uh, night we were there sitting until uh, in the night time. My husband's uh, daughter, Maria Fati. That the aunt uh, called her and told her that she saw me when I was being arrested. After the information got to my aunt that I was arrested, then the other lady staying with her there said, well, as far as she has been arrested, and baby Aisha is here crying, and in fact, her temperature, her body temperature has risen up. Why don't we try and make a, a, a break efforts to take the baby to her? And she also mentioned that maybe when they see the baby, they will maybe release when they her. See it, maybe they will release her. Yeah. And uh, so what happened then? What happened afterwards? Maria Madiba, the daughter of the former agricultural minister, took baby Aisha to a party leader's compound. When they took her there, they said they found Aunt Tumangi and his people. And they were jotting down the names of uh, those that uh, have been arrested. And then they gave her affairs and uh, told her to take her, bring her to the PIU headquarters. Perhaps uh, with her age, when they see her, they will release the mother. And you were not there at this time. How did you know all of this? It was after I was released that I was told. Was your baby brought to you during your detention? They brought the baby to the PIU. They said those that they found at the gate, 
They found one paramilitary officer called Baba Job. And he said to Mariam Diba, what your father has done is worse than murder. That is Lamin Dambu Diba. Say, Kobiri Inata, Farmata Baldenata, who funded an PIU, I will be a Samu table, I assemble. Paila Para Office Dobby, Abindige, IG Taraji, Usman Song. So when Fatwata Balde came, took the baby from them, and took them to one of their PIU offices, and found the IG then, Usman Songo. Who is, uh, my Who is this Fatma Tabale? Who is this Fatma Tabale? So they said when they found him there, uh, baby Isis arrest is, was caused by the IG. So they said when they brought her there, he said where baby Isa's mother is, they should take her there. You mentioned baby Isa, then baby Isa, then you said arrest. Yeah, baby Isa, na kumu fwe ko arrest. Wole mutaro. Ah. Yes. Can you explain this first clearly so that we can understand? Je, sila yam dinje bang akita nyami. Fun safa. When they brought her, they said, what? 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 Some said that she, she, uh, she should be released, others said no, uh, she should not be released. But I think the arrest of Bad Baby Hour was caused by the IGP, Aisha. because, Aisha, Aisha. because Aisha. he said that where Baby Aisha's mother is, that's where she too should be taken to. And this IG was Usman Sonko, he said. I in a photo in IG, but tomorrow, all Usman Sonko. Ha. Yes. So your baby was detained with you, correct? Amunda, you need him to be with you. Ha. Yes. Can you tell us what happened when you when you saw your baby being brought to you inside the PIU headquarters? Saying a phone you, muna nata ke bring ite phone yaje ye dindi na muna ati ye PIU la udinkira kuje. When, when she was brought in, she was with me there. The clothes that she was dressed in, the dress, the dress and the, tra the, 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 the trousers and uh, a wrapper that was brought along with her was what I had. So I was so more. The following day, Nke makoto maadi mo lamin eh Mariama diba e lafta mo mpuruka baby Aisha lafengo lisamba na PIUG. The son of my brother's younger brother wanted to bring baby Aisha's clothes there. Say na taki baro soto ko ni tata gibe arrestla. But they got information that if they went there, they were going to be arrested. If an alman hai ni kata. And they were scared to go. Wo fa ni kilo mo baby baby Aisha bala. Ole tuta bala. The, the same wrapper that she came along with, the same dress and the trouser that she came along with, were the only clothes that she had until when we were released. The room that you were kept in, did you have any mattress to lie on? Small uh, mattresses were there. They were not clean. All were dirty. And that was where we lie on. Did you have any mosquito nets with you in that room? There was no uh, mosquito nets, no uh, mosquito coils, nothing. When the baby was brought in, 
It didn't make any form of arrangement to ensure that the baby was comfortable. That never happened. It was only Fatma Tabalde who was assisting us. She will supply me with pampas sometimes. And even at that, she used to hide it. Before, baby police used to bring them for me, but then he was reported and even got punished for that. And after they did that to him, he gave up. Why is uh, baby police uh, really? Baby police, I told you. I told you. Ibrahim, Ibrahim. I don't get no Ibrahim. His real name is Ibrahim. Ah. Can you recall his last name? We have to know my account of an Amdaba. A conto on Alon, nobody in Yenna. I know his own name, but I have forgotten. When the baby was brought into the room you were in, we are there now, not here, we will be looking at your bedroom dummy. Did they provide you with any form of beddings for the baby? For you, for not to let put in camel a day now, you better find a land in a family man who come back. Oh, man, shut. But never existed. The room that you were in. I'll be going to be in college. Did it have a proper ventilation? Palantero, we be jail a bang while the family man do la be jail a bang for your son to learn. When you do the latter, you wear a bun da la be jail. There was no place for ventilation. There were only glass. Glass door. Glass door. Was there any window in that room? The palantir to Bumula. Palantir on your abukayel. The window was not opened. Can you tell us um, the sleeping arrangements inside that room with the six of you and the baby? We just uh, cross live there and, and then they will just cross like uh, we just lie down, lie down there crosswise. That means some will put their feet on the other side and with others will lie down on the opposite side. Uh, put they are fit on the opposite side. You call it a bantam bilili. Hankam bantam bilili. Can you tell us the size of that room? Was it a big room or a small room? Bilo nyin, kono nyin, kono fono wole mjeti bang, fu bun kanyo wole, fu bun detering wole. A bun mama mfano da. Bun kono kino wole, kulim kil, bun kono kino wole, mbara mama mfano. It's a single room, but it wasn't wired. How about um, food? When you were there, did they provide you with food? Sir, in Domoro, I will be able to know which one is there. In Domoro, they are not there. In Domoro, they are not there. They are not there. They gave us food, but we were unable to eat it. What kind of food were you being served with? I can't remember the first thing that Natalie did. I can't remember what Natalie did, but I can't remember what Natalie did. 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 I can't remember they used to bring the food, but when you look at it, you are, you, you, you are unable to eat it. Even if you put it close to your, your mouth, you will know that the scent alone will tell you that this is not uh, something that looks like real food. Something is there. How did you cope with the baby and uh, the lack of sufficient nutrients inside that room? Sorry, I tell you what I'm going to Ali Kalantano Nyadi le katu balu sobe teje atel fool kame soto dena luna tatari bulu je saying ali kake je Nyadi le ali Kalanta je Nyadi le telo kama mbala bulu dorong eka mburo sambana je alam mburo eka wajani elaji le mburo jaro inko le dam we were just uh, resigned to faith and we left everything in the hands of God they used to bring bread for us because as for the bread it used to be baked inside uh, their headquarters. 
Did any of you protest as to the baby uh, being brought into that particular room to say that the baby should not be put into the room? Fou, mon soudou de la atelkologie, même si balan, kafoko. Ninde na no manyan na na tila janga manyan na tarla atul fe bum kono je de na no ni manyan na mutala fo mo man soto ale kono me yo balamba ya itali me so kumolo fo ya fo le bari man se man 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 se me soto ebuli be wa balandi it was said but we did not have any power and they all refused you mentioned no please proceed with why proceed with my it it e la kumolo futandi janga te benyin garo so after we slept there, the following morning, Suba Juno Baldena died in Kuni. Early morning, Balda came and woke of us. A Kongata Boli Josola and Injong Konkua and Infitaro told us to go and wash bowls, clean the uh, uh, bathroom, and also to sweep the compound. Delamo Kelo Pi Bolo Beku. We, we washed all of their bowls at the PIU, we cleaned uh, the, their uh, Toilet. toilets, we swept the whole place. Even at that time, my baby used to be crying, but they were not allowing me to go to her. Until, until those chores are completed, nobody goes into the, the room. She stays there and she keeps crying. You were being forced to do the chores of the PIU at their own premises. I'm going to call you for sale. We are in call of all the other do call men. Kela if I'm allowed to work on a day, I'm going to sell an Italian do call chica yola at ten lekang. Ha. Yes. How did you feel about that? You tell me Adile. You tell me Adile. Limalia. Cruelty. And you've told us that you did sustain some injuries on your body. And when you go, you bara mo lo suru le nu, you bara jatu bara. Ah, yes. And some of your colleagues as well had injuries on their bodies. How did you manage in that state you were in to do the chores that you were being forced to do? We did, that. we did that despite all of our pains because if we protested, they could have done something to us worse than what we have endured already. So we were there until five days. They parked a vehicle at the gate and they asked us to board. So I asked them, where are you taking us to? And they said, no, let us just go. Before we move on to that, you told us that um, baby police used to smuggle in pampas for baby Aisha. Yeah. How would he smuggle in the pampas for baby Aisha? He used to hide it. Where would he keep the pampas? Sometimes he will stuck them inside uh, uh, his trousers and uh, just let his shirt roll. You know their shirts are, are, are long, the uniforms are long. During that five days you were at the PIU, a little bit more than PIU, were you allowed to have a bath? Fully, I can cool more than one. Ah, if I find any more left, they pull it. They pull, but what of monkey no, I cool no water is all. At that time, they used to tell us those who wish to take a bath can go and take a bath, but nobody at that time was uh, prepared to wash out of, uh, on their own volition. Because their bathroom sometimes uh, there is water, at other times there is no water. How about baby Aisha, were you able to give her a bath during that five days? 
Uji konsekensi orang kalau bunga kau ada itu, abu ke pun nasel asal wal, abal aku masih tak kau tahu wallet. I used to just wash her with um, bare, water. bare water, and uh, at, in fact, at some point, uh, the her skin started to peel off. Can you describe to us how the skin was peeling off as a result of not being able to bathe frequently? Alawo kubali ya nata sabufa abalafati waka woto. Aka woto nyadile, abalafati waka ke nyadile. Abalafura awala kabo. Anadalo vijan. It's the top skin which goes off. In fact, there are photos of that here. And um, did you complain about this? to the PIU officers that were there. Ko PIU la mulu men bi jey mo ko mo fool yen ban. Ya jele bari ba balandin. They saw it but they refused. How about your injuries during that time? Ete fo la bara mol do tembo. Be be itirinne mbalo mbulo mbu ko asi kan ni non simon ta mo fanka ko le mbu nanyil be yelo fi ngofu di te be la they were swollen. I was unable to raise my hand. My feet were all swollen and they were blood cloth. Did you have any other, did you sustain any other condition as a result of the beating while you were detained at the PIU? Fodun, we man to radu sabu male mensike diminuti wala la njuro watu me ibo mtu wakonoje liko liparoli ye men sabu ima. Ah, nani mbuli kilo nga mambete ya? Yes, my this one hand is not uh, functional. Mike, I'm looking at your statement right now. Mbuli na kumakana safari wale jibe kana sainte. And on your statement, and ilo kumakana wale kono. You indicated that baby police used to smuggle and buy pampas for my baby. You fuje ko baby police aka pampas wale sang ila dena no ya ke kuloto dundi nang. Which I used to split. Me alone ko tumulu lika frale. For us. Pro atelu. Half for my baby. Telante mo pro de de ila dena no. And the other half for myself. Telante mo do pro ifang. Because I urinate and discharge blood. Karu ko tumu ni be jela mutala ya je yelole kafinti ka yelole jela mutala. Ha. Yes. When did this start? Odamu do watu jumale. Did you only paro ke nandun tapi ayu? Hanin tara sumuna langka yelo sumuna. After the beating, they made it to me, and until I got to the PIU, each time I urinated, it's blood that I urinate. Did you make it known to them that you were discharging blood? Fulu yo ko indi malako yelo be boka ibe ibe ka yelo ka yelo jala mutale yo fe yelo bang. Biri ensam, biri jadi kalau mana ikong ada aki tidur lah, yang belum dulu matok orang ikong ada aki tidur lah. Para semua tu mungkin dulu matok orang ngah file, baru aman so nak file. The day that they took us to the court, when we boarded the vehicle, the female paramilitary officer who was there, I told her, but she did not agree. Did they provide you with any sanitary pads to help you out? Fulu, ye makui fento le mnyi alonko. Ibe kare fam balajato jangkundi la wole la wawiche wako no wairi wako kakela wanya. Kama kwa pampasi wa mundo mkola yusu, mama kwa ima mfendi naji, hani fengi madi. They did not give me anything. It's only the assistance I got through the pampas that came to me that, that I was making use of. You mentioned that five days uh, into your detention at the PIU. Nenye mfuko aliyetili lulu menke mutoko no PIU. The vehicle came for you. Lulu soto nda moto na atali kamaji. Ha, moto na atan kamaji ya nsamba kiti ya la kanifi. Yes, a vehicle came to pick us and we were taken to court in kanifi. Can you tell us what happened at the court premises? Afunye mbral tata kiti ya la mune kita ukiti tulatu. Ya la nita mwani. I am not literate, but I know that uh, my, our lawyers appealed to them to release me, given that I had a young, a young child, a baby, but did, they refused. Did the baby go with you when you were going to court? Na katale, kanku mandi nyama kiti dulai, kanku mandi wale nyama, baby Aisha. 
I used to go with her. The same way that uh, that I was called was also the same way they used to call her, Baby Aisha. You are telling us that when they are mentioning your name and the names of your other colleagues, they also mention the name of the baby as well. Yes. Who were the people, you said you were represented by uh, lawyers? Ah. Yes. Can you tell us the lawyers that were representing you? For Isa Fulu, you know, lawyer, you know, 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 there are there were some lawyers whose names I know. Let's focus on the magistrate court first. Na magistrate kito bunda fumo fulo fulo lakul bunyoto. Can you recall the name of the magistrate uh, that you were taken before? Fe hakilo si bula magistrate ni fumo tola le yari londi me nyati lula kiti fulo yendo. Anything. Anything. Na Nigeria no le wote nta moto lo. She was a, uh, the, the the magistrate was a Nigerian. I don't, I don't I don't know the magistrate's name. When you were taken into the dock at the court. Gidi ebulan the case wako no kiti bundala. Were you with your child then? Utembo dum baby. I saw baby bulo kono le. Adam bulo kono. Yes, she was in my arms. And. Um, even with the baby with you in the dock. You told yes. us that you were denied bail that day. Yes. Can you tell us what happened afterwards? We went to court in Kanifin three times. In other in Nakiti when they can't find us on the high court. Then our case was moved from Kanifin to the high court. Didn't that the high court in a bail strategy? When we got to the high court, we secured a bail. Say in other, didn't we bail in Seta Suakon? After we were bailed, we returned home. In other, I'm coming to Kiti a la Kotek. And then we were called again to to court. For how long were you detained at the PIU with your baby before you secured a bail? Yet till you get like a mutoko no PIU in the day now no jamming ali be bail or something. Till ten ning killing. Eleven days. And during those eleven days that you were with your baby at the PIU. Till ten ning killing with your men kono in the day now no be PIU. Were you made to do the chores of the PIU throughout that 11 days? Every day. Every day we did it. During those 11 days at the PIU, were you ever at any point allowed to go outside with the baby just for the baby to receive fresh air? For a little sontale, and you look in the water, cable in Indiana, no ye finty banta, pull a full full candle sort of full of cellar with me along Cassafe. And then a man said, What never happened? During the day, your 11 days at the PIU. Did they provide the baby with any pampas or essential materials that he, the baby needed? For we will tell them that we will take on a little bit of PIU. For it is not a pampas walla a sula fenna till the main along co asikede na lola sula fenoti isimako ro keme na kanati te ning puridi mula ko. Aman shot. It didn't happen. Did they at any point separate you from the rest and take you to a much more comfortable room that is conducive for the baby? For 
lun so don tala wala wati so don tala yete ni mo do no bondi no kan yete kilin sambadu la to ni de nano dama ya lon ko jele taro si fisia de nano ni ye wari de nano be bulu woni na man so that never happened did they during that 11 days provide you with any form of medical assistance for the injuries you had sustained yeah. during your arrest be be mutala yebara molu melu soto yo til tan min kilo men ki je fol tel dum e manna ma koir kela wala ka borina ti ka jara ro ke ye ke jara ila o bara molu la men ya lon ko e kite balo bala wona no man so da nam ke ngani mu somun to fa ya o dal da man kam ma koy that never happened except the woman that i mentioned earlier on she was the only one who assisted us and uh, during your time at the PIU you were to men to PIU do you know who was in charge fo ya lo no jumal marta je rawtumo e ka fa ma to len de bari ka fa e commissiona I don't know the person's name but I heard the person being referred to as commissioner. You also mentioned that um Bay police was caught and reported to the commissioner and they punished him severely. Then you fuko baby police praka o makuru menke inata awanya ri akalami ala kebali ya hanifo inata akulu o manya kam praka o makuru menke. Ya bolele he was reported go aha ko itende mu ya bole wole ka fa mai tamba tele ko a kontol ka tu sumuna la ko mbassan la adun tel the person who reported him is someone called mai tamba and her words were that they are always urinating now she is going to provide pampas for all of us the eldest among us who were detained on that day when my tamba said these words the old woman didn't eat breakfast she didn't have lunch she didn't have dinner she cried throughout the day saying that someone who you know her grandson or her grandchild is even older than that person how can that person stand and say she's going to make her wear pampas this is what pained her to the extent that she didn't eat for the whole day and she was crying throughout in a sense she felt insulted by this small child amunta wo dindu law kuma kawlu wala keta nendi roti may yadimi ha yes um i think this would be a very convenient uh, place to stop so that we can continue after the break mr chairman uh it's already past uh, ten, is it 8 minutes into our break so we can take a break now and resume later. Thank you very much, Chairman Council. We will take a 30 minute break and come back at 12 noon. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Rolling sur la terre, 
Manam, we have problems with skin. You have to do it. You You have to do it. 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 have to do it. You 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 have to do it. do it. You You do fin nek ni sax bolé nañ ci nak sweden fu nek la ñëna utilisé products bu dé tamit nak da nga ñu rek ñu lay jëma ah natural beauty that melanin dripping we do have stuff for you as well and when you skin care products rek ñu ngi ci chu bi tamit ah fu ne la ñoo jaar in fact sax last commercial biñ defone waxu ñu leen woné dañoo dox ci ay kawar 9a grade rek nak wow we do have bundles as well hair ci do ne la ñoo dox ñun ñu ngi rafetal jigen rek lu taral jigen rek wow bo len de tukki tamit bëggon rek classic suitcase ñu ngi dañoo dox ci ay samsonite duñ de indi any brown of suitcases do other than samsonite comme lima de wax rek bo égé airport deugri samsonite dafa am nuñ la xolé wow ngeen la nak wow um skin ci mom lañu gëna xamé nak skin care products ci mom lañu gëna xamé ñu ngi dox tamit bentay tamit ci ay dal man way man nak skin care moy sama specialty xam nga rek jigen bu saxar kanam reglé lo def mu jak am nañ Patricia Reiner Kiwi Eye the whole range Light Up Gold um Tomatine I mean the list can just go on and on and on and on lepp lo xamné rek luy taral jigen la ci yoyu rek la ño dox skin care plus nak emuñ ci Gambia rek ñu nga United States ñu ngi Gambia fi ba paré bu dé yaangi anywhere in Europe mun nañ la ko mail within 3 days rek ñetti fan rek nga jot say diw amuñ ci lool rek dañ la consult tamit bala ñu la jaay diw dinañ def a free consultation pour wax la rek exactly li nga xamne mo mengo ak sa kanam dinañ len wax tamit ne rek am nañ perfumes you know fragrances men shirts um accessories we do do dresses as well we do blouses i mean we do shoes name it we do them Skin Care Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero tasks. Who make any real me fit? Can what of perfect tasks? Can what of a problem with canum? Can what of a problem with picture? Book a man of fake and erect new law. Keep a last with fee. Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for boat ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more.
Find us at Kualoli New Road, opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station. Or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. When we touch down, but I broke down. Yangtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.